Hey everybody, Paul Carrick here in sunny London for Turn Up For Recovery. This is a song called Love Will Keep Us Alive. I was standing all alone against the world outside You were searching for a place to hide Lost and lonely, now you've given me the will to survive When we're hungry, love will keep us alive Don't you worry Sometimes you've just got to let it ride The world is changing Right before your eyes But now I've found you There's no more emptiness Inside, when we're hungry, love will keep us alive. I would die for you, climb the highest mountain, baby. There's nothing that. I wouldn't do for you Cause now I've found you And there's no more emptiness inside When we're hungry Love will keep us alive I would die for you Climb the highest mountain Baby, there's nothing That I wouldn't do for you Well, I was standing All alone against the world outside you were searching for a place to hide Lost and lonely Now you've given me the will to survive When we're hungry, love will keep us alive When we're hungry, love will keep us alive. When we're hungry, love will keep us alive. Turn up for recovery. Give us some support. You know you want to.
I started drinking at the age of 13. I started drinking out of curiosity because as a child I, I was being sent to bought alcohol. So I, one day I decided I wanted to taste what that was. And from taking that first sip, I was hooked on alcohol. I drank because I thought my mom didn't love me. I felt abandoned. Everyone that I came in close contact with always left or died. So I hated God. I hated God because of that, so I abandoned God. And, and I took up with alcohol. Alcohol was my best friend. In 2014, I lost my father. My dad was my world. I started to look at myself. It's like I get a glimpse of my life, what the person that I have become. Because being raised with my grandmother, I realized that all the morals, everything that my grandmother taught me, I threw them out through the window. Alcohol did that to me. And I can remember crying and crying and crying. And I can remember for the first time in my life that I said, my name is Bernadette and I'm an alcoholic and I need help. This lady gave me the number for Crossroads. And that there's where I saw how powerless I was, how unmanageable my life was. Today, I am sober for the last five years. I dedicate my life to helping others. It just gives me such great joy because it keeps reminding me of where I was. I've learned now how to love myself. I learned how to respect myself. Everything has been given back to me through this program. And, and, and I'm just so truly grateful grateful to be alive, grateful for this second chance that I have at life. Because there was a time when I lived to drink and drink to live. That was definitely my motto. But for today, I live to help another, and, and I'm so truly proud of that. That's it.